Governor Suludu rubbishes legacies Peter B left as Anambra governor. Hmm. How? So let's see. Anambra State Governor Professor Charles Soludo on Thursday rubbished two major legacies that Peter B left for the state when he was governor. The newsguru.com reports Peter B, who is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the 2023 elections had at different fora talked about investments he made when he was governor of Anambra State. He has also boasted about how the investments he made with the resources of the state are bringing back profits and benefits to the people of the state long after he has left office. Also, Obihad, during the twilight of his tenure as governor of Anambra State, announced that he was leaving behind 75 billion naira for his successor, Chief Willie Obiano. However, Governor Soludo, the incumbent governor of the state, while speaking on Channel's TV politics today, said the investments by Peter Obi for the state are now worth next to nothing. Okay? Soludo, who is a former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, also rubbished the legacy of savings which Peter B supposedly left for the state as governor. I don't know about those investments. There was something I read about somebody speculating about the value of whatever investments. What I have seen today, the value of those investments is worth next to nothing. So who should be blamed? Peter B had left office over eight years ago. And Obiano has been there, right? So when you talk about investment, that is an area that I think I know one or two things, and I have been able to do that. Investment is not about going to invest in a bakery. That is not what the government is about, because if the bakery goes down, then your investment goes down, Solido said. Now, on the savings Peter will be supposedly left for Anambra State, Soludo said, we don't save money for the sake of saving money. Saving money is not an output. It is not an outcome by itself. We put money to produce value for our people. So if you don't have something to spend money on, then save it. But if you have something, you, can, you can't save, you can't have your people in the hospital diet and you, save, you say you are saving money and poverty is escalating. All right, so what uh, Soludo is trying to say here is that uh, uh, Peter Obi's investment is, is not worthwhile. And again, saving money, you don't need to save money when people are suffering and dying. And you say you're saving money. In, in as much as I agree with Soludo's claim, I would also like to say that Peter Obi left those things for Obiano. So what has Obiano done with those things? Because the people of Anambra are also not happy with Obiano's tenor. So, the, so you cannot blame what you are getting today in the office on Peter Obi that had left office for close to eight years now. Right? Obiano should be called to see how he managed those investments and how he managed the funds that were left for him in the office. First of all, is it a crime to leave something in the office? You should leave a surplus account for the next person to come in, not a deficit account. You should be able to, to leave, you know, don't leave plenty problem for the upcoming. That's how to do a clean job, clean your table. So the next person coming will not start with big, big problems or start with problems that you have left. Rather, he will be able to settle down and plan well and have time to, to you know, to strategize for the new challenges and not just assuming office and assuming office facing old challenges that should have been dealt with by the previous uh, regimes or or predecessor. So it is it, so what Soludo is saying in a way makes sense in the general terms, on the general sense. But as of today in Anambra, I really don't think that what is happening in Anambra today should be should be put on Obi. You should rather be put on Obiano. Let Obiano come and tell Nigerians how he inherited the office from Peter Obi, not Soludo. Soludo did not inherit office from Peter Obi, and Soludo, therefore Soludo has no right to 
put things on Peter Obi, eliminating Obi and all, just because Peter Obi is the level party and the rest are still Abda. No, now, that is a silent way of playing party politics. That is a subtle way of trying to, to, to throw tantrums on Labour Party without really mentioning it. You cannot leave your immediate uh, predecessor and you are talking to the, to the two XY uh, governor. No, it doesn't work that way. You just like, it's just like uh, 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 APC leaving uh, the blames that are putting on Jonathan back to, to the time Yeradua was in power or the time Obasanjo was in power. It, does, it, it will not hold water. It will not hold water. It will not hold water. So, so, so Soludo should better find a way to correct the impression he's creating about Peter Obi. He should rather go and call Obiano, Chief Willie Obiano, to come and explain how he managed the office. And so, meanwhile, Soludo has not told us how he inherited the office from Obiano. He's hiding that, probably because they belong to the same party. He's hiding that. Now, he's jumping Obiano's all the Obiano's performance record and now jumping into uh, obese record that Obiano inherited. How can you expect so so be, how can you expect uh, Obi to still sustain through Obiano and into your government? Well, whether Obiano followed what Obi started or not, do we know? So Solido should come out and tell the world how he inherited the office from Obiano and not talking about Peter Obi. All right, so let's look at uh, some comments that we have here. So if Soludo won't throw in, he should not pull down. Otherwise, he would lose his credibility before he takes off. He should be careful this season because the man he wants to talk down has more followers than him. That's true. Have more followers than him. If they descend on him, he will be broken into pieces. So just a word of caution. If he has ears, let him hear. So this person is trying to say that he shouldn't take troll on, uh, on Peter Obi because uh, the Obidati team, the, the obedience movement will come for him. But yeah, but everything has to be constructively done. Like I said, Soludo should tell the world how he made the office after Obi Anon and not Peter Obi. That is just my take on all of that. So he shouldn't take the troll on Peter Obi. So somebody is saying is that should, so he should bury the trout. So so what? And another person is saying, so is it a crime to say the truth? Who are his followers? Eh? Mongo Park followers. That is what he's trying to call uh, Obidati followers. The issue is uh, not saying the truth. The issue is that what Sludo is saying, he's saying it to the wrong person. He should tell us about Obiano and not about Peter Obi. He did not take office from Peter Obi. I did not meet Peter Obi in the office. So he has no justification to talk about Peter Obi. He should rather talk about Obiano. Right? So that is it. So somebody is asking here, which truth is he saying? It is like blaming Buhari for the wrong doings that happened under Yaradua instead of blaming Jonathan. You supporters of Tinubu have lost your sense of reasoning in your bid to hurt Peter Obi. So that is what this person is saying here, all right? So <laughs> the truth is that people should not blame, just like I said earlier, don't blame um, uh, a two X Y government. Blame the immediate past government for everything you are meeting in the office. That is where we know that what you are saying is the truth. Whether what Peter B left in the office had been squandered by Obi and not before leaving, and now you are coming not to meet anything, and you are saying what, to, what Peter B is saying is not true. But bring out the records now. He's not just saying it on the TV. Bring out the records of what you are saying, because Obi has records, and Obi quotes numbers. Bring out your records and your numbers as a prof to substantiate your claims. That is the way that one goes. So Soludo probably is trying to discredit Peter Obi in a very subtle manner. But it's not going down well with everybody, and he has to, you know, correct that impression as fast as possible. So this is what Solido is saying. Let us also have your comment on what Peter B, what Solido has said about Peter B, and let's share your ideas as well. Thank you.